Hey, in the garage with me today, I got Jeff Began from Seatbelt Solutions. How are you doing, Jeff? Thanks, Dennis. Thanks for having me. You know, seatbelts are something you don't tend to think about till you, till you no. need them, but, but how did you get thinking about it? How did you get into doing seatbelts? Well, one of the cars that I had purchased, uh, you know, didn't have seatbelts in it, and that's kind of where it started. I went to, you know, purchase the seatbelts thinking I could get them at any one of the distributors are out th that are out there. And, um, what wasn't was the able, car? Wasn't able to do it. was a 75 Corvette. Well, you know, what I didn't know, I mean, I, seatbelt's a seatbelt, which is, turns out is not true. Well, if that, you look, I mean, here, this is a, this is a, a, a Concorde Correct Corvette setup here. And you have what we call it panels. This is a three panel yep. Yep. webbing. And that's that, what they had back in the 60s, that right? That is consistent with what they were making seatbelts with, you know, in the 60s and early 70s. They were using the three panel webbing, you know, right down to, you know, we have uh, equipment uh, machines that allow us to do the same sew blocks. So, you know, you can't really tell the difference between the original and, you know, the one that we made right down to the end fittings. And that's, that happens to be for a 64 Corvette or Chevy product. Well, now this is a, this, if this is a three panel, this is a seven panel. What's exactly. the, what's the well, difference? As seat belts have involved, you know, the, the paneling changes and, you know, for us, I mean, we want to make them look identical, you know, so we went back and we made that. That's basically seven panel webbing, something we get in 29 different colors. Um, and that's something that you'll find probably in, in for more of a generic setup, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. if, if you had a hot rod and you wanted to go, it had no seat belts and you wanted to go ahead and put seven it. Seven panels, fine. Big, seven panels, fine. But if there was nothing in there. Concord Corvette, it better be the three panels. Well, I, th I think so, you know, yeah. I'm an original equipment guy. I well, think that the judges you know, think so. Well, too. Exactly. Yes, they <laughs> it's, funny. Do. it's funny how they are that way. So, <laughs> so it, these are also OE correct colors and everything. Exactly. But over here, you got this ring of, I mean, at the rainbow <laughs> ring. How many colors are there? Well, uh, we have 29 in the seven panel. And, you know, we have, you know, a large influence from the female buyers today mm -hmm. and our production you know, floor looks like the rainbow. I mean, we're making stuff <laughs> out of I, all different colors, and, and, and you know, that's what they want. I Custom think the fact that, uh, you know, that you also have the correct color <clears throat> thread to stitch these things. They're usually done in all black, aren't they? Well, exactly. And, you know, uh, when, you, when you mention that to somebody, you know, they go, well, that, that's no big deal. It, it ought to be that way. Well, when we got into the industry 10 years ago, it wasn't that way. Obviously, you're licensed. You got you know, yep. GM, you got the bow tie there. This is a pretty complex setup here. Mm -hmm. What's this for? Well, 74 to 77 Corvette, this is kind of our flagship product. You know, right left retractor, you know, it's tested to today's standards. You know, if you were to take uh, the original equipment belts, they would not pass the FMVSS yeah, yeah, yeah. requirements. So, you know, we've made this. So if you unfortunately, roll over the car it's made to protect you keep you in place so it's today's standard race race belts race belts yeah that's you know you would think that um with all the racing and and you know all the you know nascar and drag racing and and you know here in the united states we're big enthusiasts about racing but all the belts come you know from overseas so we decided to get to get into the sfi market which is the governing body who tests and these, these are data you, you you can only use these for a couple of years well right? exactly you know the funny thing back when i was racing years ago you know you'd spend 500 bucks for a simpson race belt and you'd go ahead and have it recertified because it made sense these today you buy for 89 dollars retail and you just buy a new set in two years but they are like a piece of fruit they will spoil after two years we probably have you know the most extensive test facility in the aftermarket i mean we test everything from cycles on how many times a retractor can get pulled out for the lifetime you know and just it, like the OEs, basically, exactly, and to, like and to OE specs and yes, beyond. Exactly. I mean, so how do I, if I want, how do I know I'm getting a seatbelt solutions uh, seatbelt? The best thing is first, you know, ask the distributor you're doing business with. Do you, do you handle them? And if they say no, my recommendation is go to another somebody. distributor. <laughs> <laughs> but there's tags on all of these, and the tags tell you know the the origin, and it'll either be a product that says made in China, or it'll be a product that says seatbelt solutions made in Jupiter, Florida. So you guys basically put the safety in safety belts. Yes, we do. That's what it's all about, too. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Hey, if you want to learn anything more about these great seatbelts from Seatbelt Solutions, log on to myclassiccar.com. And all those colors, man, I got a car that that teal would fit perfect. <laughs>